Martin to head out the door to go grab our Azure order. I just wanted to take a second and tell you a little bit about Azure Standard if you've never heard of them before. It's a company based out of Oregon that supports like the local farmer, small farms. Um, they source their products ethically. All their stuff is either non-GMO or organic. Uh, what else? They, they are pro-America, they treat their employees well, and they have really great customer service. So those are all things that we as a family want to support, even if it costs a little bit more. But really, um, it doesn't really cost that much more. So back up. So the big savings with Azure standard comes in when you buy stuff in bulk. So um, if I was to go down to our local grocery store and buy a can of, let's say, pizza sauce, um, I'm gonna pay a little bit more there, or I'm sorry, I would save a little bit more there than going to Azure and buying the same individual can of pizza sauce. Now, if I buy that in bulk in a case, I, that's where the savings is. But because I don't have the storage for a case of pizza sauce, I'm not gonna do that. But what I will do is I will still pay a little bit more at, for that individual can or two cans um, just to support the company because that's an easy way to support them and the things that they value as a company than supporting the local grocery store that doesn't value any of that. When your order comes, you have either a drop coordinator, which is what we have, and that person is in charge of pulling everything off the truck, organizing it into piles of, of the individual orders, and then calling and saying, hey, your order's ready, come pick it up. So that's what we just got. We just got that phone call saying it was ready. Or the other option, or the other way that they do it that I've heard, and I have not seen this, is everybody goes to the drop location that made an order, helps pull everything off the truck, and then take their stuff and go home. We, I really appreciate our drop coordinator because we have two drop locations. So one of those loca one of those drops comes at like seven in the morning, 7.30 in the morning. So to get my kids out of bed in the car and down to pick it up is a lot of work <laughs> and it's early. So I appreciate that. Um, we have another drop location, which is in a certain location that is watched throughout the day. So she just posts and says, orders in, pick up sometime today, which has been really nice. The other thing that's nice about having that second location is because the business has grown so quickly with everything, they have new drivers, they have new um, employees, they have new people on the phones. And so stuff is out of stock, but they do a really good job of keeping it in stock. It's just getting it, it if you have it once a month, a once a month order, it could be more difficult to get what you want because it's you're not getting delivered as frequently. So what I've found with our second location is I'm able to, what I can't get on at the beginning of the month, I can get usually get two weeks later. The other part of that is um, now where we live in Oregon, we are kind of the end of the road when it comes to the trucks coming in. So like right now, we, we don't have that much snow. I keep looking out the window because I keep waiting. They, they have a, we, right now we have a winter storm advisory and we got a lot of snow yesterday, but I'm not seeing any snow right now. I'm seeing lots of clear skies right now. So what often happens when we do have these weather advisories, if there's an accident on the freeway or the pl apparently we're down plow drivers also, um, the passes get closed. And so, you know, if there is ever a major storm or a natural disaster or truck drivers striking, we could potentially be out of, our stores would be out, our gas stations would be out in like five to seven days. So we've always kept a three month working pantry and now, you know, since the world blew up, we are now extending that into more of a six month, nine month, 12 month working pantry. So I need to, I know that I need to order a little bit extra. Like, so this month I'm ordering flour. I'm gonna put two on there so that I have an extra one. And then next month I will order another two. So we're just doing it slowly. So it doesn't overwhelm the budget, doesn't overwhelm our space, but um, and if we, if there is a month that they're out of flour because of supply, um, then 
I'm okay. It's not like I'm out of something. So anyways, so we're slowly building up our, our pantry, getting, getting that done. I will show you what we got as soon as we get back from picking it up. But again, I just wanted to take a few minutes and tell you a little bit about the company because I really like the company. I appreciate what they stand for. And I would rather spend a little bit of extra money on, on those individual items that I'm not buying in bulk and support that company versus some of the other companies in town that obviously do not value those same standards. So anyways, I'll show you what we got. Hey everyone. Okay, so we are back from town. We got our Azure order. And so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we got. So I told you a little bit about what Azure standard is. And so this is just kind of a sample of the things that you can get. Uh, I always like watching these because I it gives me ideas of what we can order. Uh, just to start right off, I'll start with these since they're right here. So I got some Pomona's pectin and I'm just kind of slowly um, getting my stash put together for summer, this coming summer, so that I'm not stuck having to buy a whole bunch at once. And so they come in, you can either get them individually or in packs of threes. Um, I did get a pack of three, but I don't know where the other one went. I think I, I think it might be in the kitchen, but so Pomona's, if you haven't used Pomona's, it's for making jams and stuff. It's really great because you don't have to, you can use any kind of sweetener. You can, you don't, you don't have to have lots of sugar to make it sweet. So you can do honey, you can do natural, um, just berry, the natural pectin in the berries. Is that right? Anyway, you can make jams without lots of sugars, which is kind of nice. You get the flavor of the jam, not all the um, sweetness that sugar would make it. So there's that. We got some elderberries because it is elderberry season, cold season. So we will be making up some um, elderberry syrup and we'll maybe we'll do a video on that and show you how we do that. I did get some cinnamon, um, some more cinnamon powder since we are out, well not out, but we're almost out and we're doing a lot of baking for Christmas and all the holidays so and we just needed more so we've got that the next thing i have is some all-purpose flour oh i guess i have more than i thought i had that's fine um so we go through 10 pounds of flour every month for making bread of the unbleached so this is the unbleached flour we do a mix of all-purpose and spelt when i make bread so we go through the all-purpose in about a month and then we go through the spelt 10 pounds about every three months. So like I said earlier, we're trying to um, build up our pantry stock. So I've got now one, two, three, four pounds of organic all-purpose flour. So that will, that's a good stash for us. And again, next month I'll add another bag to it. Well, probably two bags since we'll go through a bag this month, this next month. Um, so there's that. So here's the spelt flour. I am gonna have to um, slowly build up on this because we are, I only have this and that. And so 20, so I have probably about 25 pounds. So I'd like to have a couple more 10 pound bags of the spelt flour on hand just to have our pantry stocked um, on that. Okay, so next we have our gluten-free quick rolled oats. This is something that we do for breakfast a couple times a week. And so I am again trying to build up the stock that we have on hand of this just to make sure we have enough. I usually will get the, so these are the quick oats. This is what we do a lot for the breakfast, but then I also get just regular rolled oats. And I actually turn those into uh, oat flour. And I use this when I'm baking I don't know, you know, pancakes, muffins, that kind of stuff. I will grind this up in my blender or blend it up in my blender and make a powder out of it for a flour out of it just to give stuff a little bit more hardiness. And then I'm not going through as much flour as quickly. Okay. The other thing we got is some quinoa flakes. Now I use this already to make some breakfast and um, it tastes, I had never made it before. This was one of those things that a friend of mine told me that she gets since she can't have gluten. And it's, it's just quinoa flakes and it has the consistency of like 
oatmeal or not oatmeal sorry for of like malto meal if you've ever had that before um kind of grainy and so it was, a, it was okay i don't know if i would get it again uh but you know it was some, fun to try something new we'll eat it and then we'll see if we decide that we want it again so the last thing i want to show you that we got now this we did not get this order we had had this our last order and it's honey so this is a gallon of raw honey and we actually were just given a couple weeks ago this last summer we had a, a beekeeper put bees on our property in the winter time he sends them up to the almond fields and so during the summer he just needs somewhere to put them and then he pays you in honey so we just actually got paid in honey from the bee guy which is great it's something that worked out really well we were thankful for that we didn't have to have our own bees i wouldn't mind having our own bees in the future but uh, that's not something we have right now but you can get the honey um, by the gallon you can get it by the half gallon you can get it by the the five gallon buckets and so again the the more you buy in bulk the cheaper it's going to be so this is something that we just kept keep on hand because we use honey for our main sweetener for pretty much anything and so we try to keep a a good supply of it but you can get honey through azure as well uh, the other thing that we did not get in this order is popcorn and we I think I don't know if we just got a bad batch of the last popcorn but it didn't pop very well so we had lots of seeds um, so if you've ever gotten the popcorn from from Azure Standard I'd love to hear how you like it because I don't know that I'm gonna order it again especially with it not popping so I don't know I've I heard good things about it and we got it didn't love it so anyway so we do have a little bit left we have some up there in a bigger container left over too so we'll work through that and then um, maybe try to find a different source for it or if you guys tell me that you like it then maybe we'll try it again and we just got a bad batch um, I think that's it that we get in most of our orders but if you have questions leave them in the comments if there's something that we didn't order that you think that we might like Put that in the comments because I'm always up for suggestions and trying to find new things to order through them and I think that's it so yeah thanks for watching and go ahead and like and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of stuff and we'll bring you along for the ride next time thanks for watching